Hi guys. <laughs> Just get you straight on me pillow. Um, it's just basically an update about tomorrow because um, I'm really quite nervous about this session thing I'm going to at the mental health centre. And the reason why I get nervous to these sort of places is because the fact is you don't know what to expect. You don't know what questions going to ask you and stuff like that. And it's been going on in my head since last night. And I've not had a very good sleep. I'm full of cold. Um, I've had quite a rough sleep last night. So I've got to go about 10 o'clock. Um, I was supposed to go to the doctor's today. And I just, just couldn't go, guys. I wasn't well. And my legs were weak. And that. Um, I've been having a lemon sip. Um, been on painkillers to get shot on my cold, but it's not exactly getting shot of it, shot of it. But I think I've got cold from Andrew when he was bad, and I'm just really nervous, guys. Really, I'm um, I'm getting butterflies in my stomach, and it's like what. Do I say to them or how do I say it? And it's totally different talking to a camera and when you're talking in a group or one to one sessions and it's like, oh, what do I say? Do you know what I mean? Guys, what do I say here? And I know it's going to help me in the long run because of my depression and stuff, but. <sighs> It's going to be a tough journey. It's, it's going to be a tough journey. I mean, I'm getting worked up thinking about because I am that nervous. And I know I shouldn't be, but I am. So after I don't know how long I'm going to be there tomorrow. After I've been from there, I've got to go into town, pay some bills, sort them, some things out in town, meet Andrew, do a bit of shopping <coughs> in town, probably go for something to eat with Andrew, um, my fiance, we'll probably have something to eat in town and then come home, um, because I was supposed to be going out tomorrow with the family, um, for my birthday meal, but now, because of what's going on tomorrow, I'm going to be tired out, because I know I'll be tired out by talking to people, I mean, I get tired out talking to my doctors and stuff, and it's, what goes on in your mind, basically, and then you've got to think about the past and what hurt you, why you are suffering from depression and stuff like that. But I don't really want to go into it today because I am a little bit down at the same time. I am down today because I've been done a lot of thinking, being, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, guys, and just been doing a lot of thinking and doing thinking about the internet, stuff like that, thinking about life, thinking about where I'm going. And that's the most important thing in your life. Now, I'm supposed to be doing an assessment today <laughs> and I can't do it for tomorrow. I've got to draw something what's good in my life. Now, I could do this with you. Actually, it might help me if I do. I'll just get some paper. <laughs> right, um, I did have some paper somewhere. If I get it in my sideboard. No, yes, no, yes, no, letters. Same paper, no, letters. I might have to do it on this little notepad thing. Wait on, I've got some paper here. Yes. You might have some paper, guys. <laughs> I always have a bit of paper down the side of my bed so I can write notes down, basically. Um, I don't know if any guys do that. And I have, like, a notepad. So, like, 
I write stuff down if I think of an idea to speak about. I write it down after I've done some research. Right. Now the woman showed me to do a, a like a list of all my things on a good day. So I am gonna draw a circle like I did with my old one. And put me in the middle. I'm not very good at drawing, so <laughs> me on a good day. Well, I'm going to knock off the laptop while I'm concentrating on this. Right, that's basically a little drawing I've done so far. That's me smiling on a good day. That's the title. So basically what I do on a good day, what I like doing is <sighs> singing on my videos singing on my videos vids dancing which I like doing dancing on my vids right I'll put in all the top ones what I like doing Going for walks. Going for walks. And days out. Right. Down here, I'm going to put shopping. Having a laugh. <coughs> With friends. Getting cuddles. And over here, this side of the page, I'm smiling when the sun's out. And over this side, seeing my son. Marcus. Right. This is basically all of my good day. I basically go through with it. Uh, like I've said before, on a good day, that's the title of it. Singing on my videos, which I love doing. Dancing on my videos, which I love doing. Going for walks and days out. It's basically, if the weather's fine, I'll do it. Smiling when the sun's out. I love doing that. Seeing my son Marcus, which I love because he makes me happy. Shopping makes me happy. Having a laugh with friends, that makes me happy. And getting cuddles of people, that makes me happy. And that's basically on a good day. So... Because of my good days and my bad days, it's like sort of a mixture of my depression. And, well, she even said it, if it has a bit of a drinking problem, which she said, she said I could put that in. But drinking does make me happy, but also makes me sad at the same time when I get internet bullies. So I can't really put that on a good day. 
and that's the thing, I don't want to put that on the good day, but I want to put the, like the positive bits on the good day, and at this session group, I think I'll be doing um, some assessments and things like that, some tests, and that's what I don't like doing because the questions that they baffle you with, oh, you know how it goes, guys, if you've ever been to one. And it is difficult because the first time I've gone, first time I'm going, and I'm looking forward to it at the same time, but I'm nervous. When anybody would be when they go to a place like that. <laughs> um, but what I was going to do, I was going to get a taxi up, um, but then I'll decide I'll get the bus up, depending if it runs on time. But I probably will get a taxi up because then I don't know where it is exactly. I roughly do have an idea where it is. Um, it's just just finding it. And I'll tell you guys all about it tomorrow. You will see this video tomorrow because I'm not uploading it now because I've just took my medication. And like I said before, um, I didn't have a very good sleep last night. I kept tossing and turning, waking up. Um, I've got full of cold, literally full of cold, and I was cold and shivery. And I had a fit and fit the other night. And it's like one thing after another. I know when I've had a fit because, like, the side of my tongue down here is killing me because I bit it, and that's when I know know when I've had one. And I will mention that to the doctor again on Tuesday when I go see see him, um, see her. I mean, but but I think I could be diabetes as well because I've been looking up on Google for the signs of diabetic, where you're tired a lot, um, you go to the toilet more often, which I do. I go to the toilet more often during the night. I'm thirsty all the time and stuff like that so I'm gonna have to get that checked out and but when I'm really really low and really low with my system problem my human or whatever you call it human humaning system problem when I take sugar or chocolate my sugar levels back up high again and I was eating chocolate about weirdly clock about all clock about Need 12 o'clock at night last night. I was really, really hungry and I thought, I had a box of roses and I ate my chocolate and I was like, away, hypo again. And this is what I can't work out with my body because it's like one minute it's down and the next minute I have to take sugar and back up. I mean, I've been tested for diabetes before and they've said, all my, my, all my blood sugar is normal. Even when the paramedic people come, when they do that, you know that prick thing on your fingers, even when they do that, they've said that's pretty normal. It might be a bit high, but not too too much. But I need to get them checked out. I really do need to get it checked out. Probably if I get it checked out, and it'll be a piece of my mind. Do you not know I mean, guys? So um, that's basically it. And... That's my update for today, and because I will do an update tomorrow, and hopefully tell you guys tomorrow afternoon, um, what went on with the place and tell you stuff, because I don't really know myself what it, it's about. Um, all I said they do one to one, but I've heard of other people sometimes they put you in a group, and. That's not me. I don't want to be in a group. I just want to be on a one to one, like talking like to a counsellor. Oh, yes. Um, I am referred to speaking to a higher person than a counsellor, which is um, I can't pronounce the name psychologist or something. I think physio, not physio, but something psychologist person and I was talking to my friend about it and she said to me that they will 
check your medication, what medication you should be taking and what medication level you should be taking. And they will sort out all my medication and they will put it right for me. So hopefully I will get on to speak to them very, very soon. Because um, I really need to talk to a proper professional better than a counsellor. I can't. I can't talk to a counsellor. I cannot talk to him because a counsellor is too much in your face and I want to talk to somebody who's a bit a little bit higher who can know what's understand in your mind. That's basically it. And hopefully I am going to get better and stronger, guys, because, like I said, I've deleted most of my Facebook accounts. I'm keeping one going because of my pictures on it because I still want my pictures on it so I can download some of my pictures and put them on my new Facebook. And that is all I'm saying, guys, because I'm getting extremely tired. <laughs> and that's because of the medications kicking in slightly because plus I've had Lemsip and Paracetamol and it's just like kicking in a little bit. So, guys, that's basically it, guys. Right, so I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. And I will be doing my update video in the afternoon for use. So, I'll speak to you guys later. Be cool, be happy, stay tuned. As well as Rock Chick Dudes. One, two, one. Love you guys.